am going to do a breakup prank on him and tell him that enough is enough. I'm done with the pranks. The pranks have gone too far. I have come to the realization that the pranks are becoming too much for me. Take care and thank you for the memories. channel i am in such a great mood today i had a very early start to my morning because charles had to wake up at like 6 30 this morning he bought a dirt bike yesterday and his friend actually spent the night last night to get him up this morning because he's not a morning person at all and they've been out dirt biking all morning it's 11 22 right now and i just checked their location and they're both 31 miles out i have his friend's location too just in case of emergencies but yeah and they're out it looks like in the middle of nowhere because i don't see any streets i checked just because i wanted to make sure i was good to go and he wasn't going to be home anytime soon but he's 31 miles out so i have plenty of time so as you read by the title your girl's about to prank your boy again i am going to do a breakup prank on him and tell him that enough is enough i'm done with the pranks the pranks have gone too far it's ruining our relationship blah, 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 even though it's not I'm just letting you guys know right now it is not ruining our relationship and whatever i say in this video take it with a grain of salt I do not mean it. I'm doing this for this video, okay? Like, I have to... I don't even know what the hell I'm gonna say yet. I haven't really planned it out. But I'm gonna make it sound like I'm done with this whole YouTube thing. The pranks are getting to me. You're making me feel like shit. Like, I can't do it anymore. Like, I'm done. Peace out. Breaking up with you. Moving out today. Adios, amigos. Like, that's what I'm going to be doing today. But I can't stress it enough that whatever I say in today's video, I do not mean. 100% do not mean. I don't know what we would do without you guys. We love our job so much. We're so blessed and just so grateful for each and every one of you. So, don't get hurt by what I'm about to say because you're going Okay. Okay. So I had well, a breakup letter because I don't know how to break up with Charles. Like I don't want to ever break up with him. I Googled a letter and I just took like little pieces from it and I just added a couple sentences to make sense with me getting tired of the pranks. So this is what I came up with. I need to express something to you. I felt like this was my only option. I hope you know I am writing this with a sad heart. Over the past few months, I have come to the realization that the pranks are becoming too much for me. I'm starting to believe what you say is true and I can't do this anymore. I think it's time we put an end to this emotional stress. The fact that I could not express my feelings to you personally is part of what made me realize we both deserve more. Take care and thank you for the memories. That last part is so freaking sad. That's what I came up with. I literally like copied someone else's breakup letter and just added like, I can't do the pranks anymore. He's in the middle of the desert right now. I am going to send him that text message. I don't know when he's going to see it because like I said, he's on a dirt bike. I'm praying that he's not texting in dirt biking he's probably not it's probably like in his pocket or something i don't know when he's going to read it but he's 31 miles out so even if he reads it right after i send it i have like 30 minutes to get the hell out of this apartment that's what's going down today guys i hope you guys like this video don't get too sad because it is just a prank it is just a prank so make sure you guys comment team Alyssa in the comments we are the best and this is funny because I honestly feel like well I am the prank star okay I prank him so much but the fact that I'm the one breaking up with him because of the pranks that like it's kind of funny because I'm pranking him right now and also I feel like I prank him more and better so this is just a funny video he's probably gonna be like what the hell like I don't even prank you that much but honestly he he's been getting your girl lately so i gotta get him back so comment team Alyssa in the comments and also do not forget to subscribe and push the notification bell there is going to be a lot of giveaways coming up so make sure you subscribe to this channel okay so let's go upstairs and start packing i'm gonna pack a suitcase and a purse and get ready to get wait should i send a text message now or should i pack first i'm gonna pack first and then i'm gonna send the text message Okay guys, so 
I'm about to pack this suitcase. If you hear sushi barking, it's just the Amazon guy. She barks at literally everyone. She thinks this whole complex is hers, I swear. If anyone walks by, she's barking that patio. That's hers. Okay, so I am just gonna like take clothes that are just sitting up here on the dresser because I don't want to mess up my closet and I don't want to hang clothes back up. I hate that, that's like, it's my least favorite chore. So I'm just gonna grab all these clothes and place them in here. I don't know why I'm so paranoid because I know he's like 30 minutes out. Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay, so there we go. All right, I'm packed. Now, let's send the text message. I'm about to text him, copy and paste this message. I'm scared, I'm like shaking, okay. <gasps> okay, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm nervous! I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Okay, send, I just sent it. I just sent it! Okay, let me check, let me check his location. It still says 31 minutes out, Maricopa AZ. As you guys can see, hold on, I'm gonna show you guys where he's at. Okay, see, there's Hubby and Jacoby, like 31 miles out, and they're right on top of each other, see? Okay, okay guys, so I have time to get my together. I'm gonna put this in my car right now and then keep on tracking him, and then when he gets closer, I, I'm gonna box, I'm gonna leave, and hide the camera in the living room and see how he reacts, and see what he does. See if he like tries to fight me back, like, baby, like fight for me, like, no, like we can quit YouTube, da -da 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 -da. I just wanna see what he says. I'm excited for this video. Okay guys, let's get it. Oh my god, honestly guys, I did not think he was gonna text back this fast. He just said, babe, what the hell are you talking about? Let's talk once I'm home. Literally, just got done on my way. Gonna be like 40 minutes. I'm not gonna respond to that text message. I'm just gonna just chill here until he gets like a little bit closer, like five, 10 minutes out and I'm about to dip and turn on the camera and get his reaction. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Comment team list in the comments if you guys are excited to see his reaction as well. Okay guys, I gotta go. He is three minutes out, so I gotta leave right now so he doesn't see my car. Hi, Sushi. Mommy will be back, okay? Mommy won't forget about you. What is up? Hold up, baby, I crashed. Babe! I legit crashed. Alyssa, I broke my bike. Babe! Oh, what is this? What's she doing? You have reached the voicemail. Is she serious? You have reached the voicemail. Oh my god. Let's stop it. Come on, bro. It's not that serious. You have reached the voicemail. Babe, where are you at? Oh, well, come on. Ah, I crashed my bike. My knee is messed up. And my bike is broken. Ow, oh, where are you at? What is she doing? Oh, where's mommy at? Ah, oh, baby, you're taking my socks. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you. Hold up. Come on. Where's your mom at? You can reach the baby. Oh, God, bro, come on. Why are you doing this? Why are we acting like this? Come on. Babe, where you at? Where you going? Babe! You have reached the voicemail. Come on, Alyssa, stop, bro. 
I'm going to keep calling you. You have reached the voicemail. Oh my God. What's her location at, right, man? Bro, she stopped sharing her location. Come on, stop it. Oh my God, where's my shoes? You have Babe, give me a call. We can sit and talk about it. It's not that serious. We definitely don't have to do pranks. Dang, man. Come on, man. Babe. with this now what is this what what kind of is because i'm sick of the pranks it, it's like a breakup prank but like i'm just telling you i'm sick of youtube and the pranks and but you know i got I'm, I'm sick of youtube and the pranks you know what, <laughs> what? i think i want to break up shut up okay i can't do it anymore i just can't shut up i'm sick i can't do it anymore shut up. i quit take it back okay i don't want to break up <laughs> but i'm <s> <laughs> I can't do it anymore. All this pranking shit. I know, I couldn't do it. Man, I couldn't do it either because- I was stressed out and on top of that, my leg is messed up, bro. Look at my leg. I knew it. I, I what am I? I think, I think you can show him. Show him what? I'm listening. He's taking his pants off, guys. And literally almost died. I flew over the handlebars. Charles! Yeah. I told you. Jacoby I said it. Jacoby said it. Alyssa's gonna be like, I told you I have to go. Now we can't. <laughs> oh my God, I told him this last night. <gasps> Oh my god, that looks disgusting. It is swollen. I knew this was gonna happen. And it's swollen too. Oh my god. My knee is swollen. It's all the way messed oh up. Oh my god. I told you I didn't Man, like the whole dirt bike idea. His, one dude got his 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 dirt his dirt bike yesterday night. Uh-huh. When we all bought our dirt bikes, rode it to his house, he didn't get to the door, broke his leg. How? Fail. Off the dirt bike? Yes. 
you should just sell it now. I said, oh, you should have like just rented one until like until I figure out. Yes. If I to do it. Why don't you ever discuss these things with me? Because I don't think I have to. Oh, you do because he doesn't think like logically. Like when he came home and told me that he bought a dirt bike, I was like, no, you didn't. Like he goes through these waves of things. He bought that bike during coronavirus, <laughs> like when it was like just starting. And I was like, this is just gonna be a phase. He's gonna be done with it, and he was done with it. I think he rode it like two, three times, and I the bike is just sitting there. And I said the same thing with the dirt bike. We don't live in the country. Where are you gonna go dirt biking? And then when he left this morning, I was like, be careful. Those were my last words to you was be careful because he is wild. That's and why. I, and I try to jump over this with a big ass. Listen, when we go on vacation, that's why we have separate jet skis, separate four wheelers. We, I, I can't, I don't, no. But I'm sorry, but I got you. Today's not good. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in our next one. Look at you, look like a little sad puppy. I am sad. <laughs> Do you wanna go to the doctor? Your text message hurt me the most. Oh. Okay guys, well we'll see you in our next one. Adios!